Hello my friends, welcome to Trading with KS. So today is 24th of January 2022. Today is Monday. So another very black Monday. So uh, <laughs> market, market continue to drop. And uh, as usual, uh, as usual, almost Chinese New Year already. As we know, Chinese New Year, basically, um, always, uh, before Chinese New Year, I right, always drop. Uh, so uh, nothing changed, okay? So nonetheless, let's check out the introduction first. Before that, check, uh, subscribe, like, share, and comment, okay? Don't, don't forget to support the channel. So today, we got quite some interesting news to share. And uh, before that, let's check out the introduction first. Disclaimer, be advised that I'm not a professional trader or advisor. I am sharing my trading journey for entertainment purpose only. Any opinions, news, research, analysis, price or other information contained in this video is my own opinion and does not constitute investment advice. I will not accept liability for any loss or damage including without limitation to any loss of profit, money, asset or any valuables which may arise directly or indirectly from use of information in this video. Okay, let's check out what is going on in the market. Before that, let's check out the global market. KLCI today dropped 5.2 points, 0.341%, 1521 uh, points, 1521.86 points, so drop below 1525 already. Singapore dropped 0 0.344, Hong Kong dropped 1.238, South Korea dropped 1.429. Japan up 0 .0, 0 0.240, Thailand dropped 0 0.684, uh, China FTSE dropped 0 0.34, China SSE up 0 0.044, China SXSE up 0 0.372, so China minor, minor recovery, uh, Australia dropped 0 0.506, Indonesia dropped 1.059, New Zealand dropped 1.271, Taiwan up 0 0.51, India dropped 2.95, 2.951, so big drop. So Asia is still very weak. Look at Europe. Uh, UK FTSE FTSE dropped 0 0.685. DAX dropped 1.054, still very weak. Look at Dow Jones Friday. Drop 1.296. Uh, MYSE drop 1.599. S&P drop 1.891. NASDAQ drop 2.7. Uh, 2.721. So US is still very weak, extremely weak. Okay. Uh, crude palm oil 5.5380. So crude palm oil still holding quite strong. Uh, crude oil went up 88.22, and and uh, Brent oil sorry went up 88 to two 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 crude oil so holding strong at 85. Uh, so ho crude oil still holding strong uh, as long as long as holding above 84 still okay. Uh, still okay. Okay, uh, palm oil around 5,004, 5, holding around 5,004, still okay, not too bad. So gold is 15843, uh, so gold going up, uh, as expected, right? Go going up because during this, uh, uh, during uh, US, right, when it risk off sentiment, right, risk off sentiment, a lot of investors will put their, some, will, will, will put part of their portfolio, right, uh, uh, investment into Go uh, because go is safe haven asset, right? You can see go Japanese yen, you, you, uh, US dollar going up, right? Silver will follow, uh, of course. Uh, silver always track go and go goes up, silver will go up. Uh, okay, so uh, we can see US really going to risk off environment, uh, risk off uh, sentiment, really. So let's look at KLCI today. KLCI, so today drop below our this one, uh, our support ready. So looks bad, uh, looks bad, looks like uh, uh, <laughs> Chinese New Year is like that. Uh, <laughs> uh, typical Chinese New Year lah. Typical stock market, right? Chinese New Year mood is typical like that one, uh. China New Chinese New Year mood. <laughs> After Chinese New Year, only probably will go up. <laughs> okay, look at KLCI. Okay, Busa. Look at index. So, uh, sentiment thirty six, gainers three three five, losers five nine five five nine five. So almost double lah. Uh, no good. Uh, volume was also big, so small, 2.833, drop 5.23, 5.20, 0 0.34%, 1.521.86. Okay, look at sector, oh, look at the sector, horrible. Uh. Consumer drop 0 0.57, industry drop 0 0.16, construction drop 0 0.48, uh, technology drop 0 0.32, fin financial drop 0 0.48, 
property drop 0.02, plantation up a bit 0.41, REIT. Plantation, look at Saturday video, right? If we, if we can continue, go up these few days, right? I think this one long, we had a longer term uh, opportunity to go up. REIT, REIT drop uh, 0.22, uh, energy drop 0.06, big drop healthcare uh, 2.31. Telecommunication drop 0.54, transportation drop 0.09, utilities drop 0.42. La. Looks like downhill all the way. La. Looks like downhill all the way. <laughs> so, uh, Chinese New Year, uh, what's, what, 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 what to do? Coffee money only, la. <laughs> no bonus. <la. laughs> Share market is no bonus for you. Uh, 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 coffee money maybe can get try some. La. Oh, just now I got post something a uh, long time I, I didn't post uh, on uh, this uh, <laughs> this Facebook uh, now I also want to be a bit active because last week a bit busy uh, uh, quite a lot of things to do so BNB tech break out already uh, today uh, see later uh, later later it will continue go up or not uh, BNB tech go up break out already so let's check out uh, don't forget yesterday and Saturday more uh, this uh, uh, today uh, morning also got video uh, don't forget uh, Saturday and uh, Sunday uh, Sunday and Saturday, uh, okay, uh, weekly stock review and uh, 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 this one, uh, look at all KLXC sector. Uh. And uh, okay, don't forget, go to coffee.com, buy me coffee, uh, trading with KS, uh, okay. Uh, okay, you want to open CGS CMB account, don't forget, click here, just fill in the form. Okay. Uh, fill in the form, just fill in a few details, uh, then the broker, uh, the, the remiser will uh, contact you to open an account for trading. Okay, go to the news. CTOS Digital, 4th Q, profit slip 8.6%. Uh, uh, higher administrative share declared 0.33 cent dividend. Still got dividend, uh, so not bad. Uh. So from 12 million, 12.89 from, uh, to, towards 11.78 million uh, net profit drop. Uh, revenue, uh, revenue up, uh, so it's not that bad, uh, revenue up 38.79 against 34.47, so it's not too bad, uh, so uh, it, got, it, it, it got some interruption due to the secrets issue, uh, or else I think it should be doing better, uh, so it got a secrets issue, uh, but annual revenue went up, uh, uh, still went up from uh, uh, 133 to 153, uh, so not that bad, uh, uh, million, uh. Full year, full year ended December 31. Citos uh, net profit will still up 10% uh, for the 2.98 to 39.19 million. Uh, so not too bad. Citos uh, is not doing too bad. Uh. Only the secret issue, secret issue, uh, uh, it got uh, stuck a bit there. Uh. So let's see Citos. Citos mm, breakout, one pin bar coming back down. So this one, if you already cut loss, still all, also okay. If you haven't cut loss, maybe you can try to put the cut loss here. See whether it drop, whether it's, it continue to drop below here or not. If continue to drop below here, maybe have to cut already at 1.71. Uh. If, if it can hold above 1.71, maybe you got chance, uh, maybe still got chance to go up. Oh, we got this, all this target here. Uh. Uh, but a bit difficult uh, now, uh, the Malaysian stock market is so bad. <laughs> Malaysian stock market. Malaysia stock market is so bad. Uh. <laughs> uh. Okay, now I think the channel changed already. Uh. Now it's like that. Uh. Uh. Now the channel changed already. So uh, after it make a higher high here, hmm, whether this is a false break or not. Right? Yeah, I think we should categorize this as a false break. Uh. Uh. Still, I think the channel still remain the same. Yeah, still remain the same. Uh. Uh. So this is a false break. Uh, so false break, uh, not so good. Look at this, not so good. Uh. What happened to this CITOS? Uh? Okay, so hopefully uh, it, can, it, can have, uh, it can have a rebound over here. If it doesn't rebound, I think it might continue to drop. If you're thinking of to cut loss, maybe you also, uh, maybe also want to cut loss. I think this one, CITOS also probably get uh, this uh, big hit uh, due to because of this technology drop also, technology uh, sector drop also, there's, so there's no buying interest. Uh. No, so there is some, oh, this one quite bad. Uh. Uh, suffer some losses. 8% uh. losses already. 8% uh, uh. 
eight percent, around eight percent losses. So this one, see how? Okay, if we can rebound, uh, if we can continue rebound, got have some rebound, maybe out first. Uh, I think not so good. Uh. maybe out first. Uh, wait for the next. Uh, next. Uh, if we rebound, uh, maybe maybe I would see what what I should do. Uh, this one. Uh, what should we do? Market is so bad. Uh. Ay, uh, market is so bad. Nothing works. Okay, so this one, hopefully it doesn't drop because you see this is a bottom, right? Bottom, bottom, bottom got support away. So it don't drop below this. Uh. Drop below this very difficult. Uh. Hopefully don't drop below this. If it don't drop below this, maybe you can hold. Uh. Maybe you can hold. Uh. If it drop below this, uh, it will be very bad. 1.71 will be very bad. Uh. Okay. So we'll continue, just uh, hold it first, see, see what, what happened. Well, the revenue is still going up, so it's not too bad. Uh. Uh, no, re revenue is going up, it's not too bad. We got all these target here. So hopefully, okay, can rebound. So uh, Tun, Tun Mahadeo now is quite serious, uh, still in hospital. Uh. Okay, uh, so there's a lot of rumors, uh, there's a lot of rumors coming out, talking about his health, uh, but he's still, still okay, uh, still responding to this uh, treatment, uh, so don't, don't uh, listen to too many rumors first. DNO turned another record, record breaking result, uh, so you see uh, the technology stock, this semiconductor stock is still very strong, uh, only the, <laughs> oh no, the tech, the, 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 this uh, semiconductor uh, rec uh, demand is still very strong, uh, only the stock not doing well uh, because of the US crash. Uh. So on track to meet uh, financial year 21 core profit uh, of uh, 110 uh, million. Uh, Kenanga say, uh, okay, so Kenanga is positive uh, and I'll give it up perform call 6.60, 6.60 uh, DNO. Uh, now like very far, uh, very difficult to go to 6.260 uh, now, DNO. Okay, 6.60 is here. Uh, so uh, that's why we have to wait and see lah. Uh, wait for this rebound, see what happened first. Oh, wait for this rebound, but see what happened. Or uh, if this rebound can go higher, maybe it got a chance to reverse up. But I don't think it will can reverse up so fast uh. Uh, I don't think so fast uh. Have to wait for US to rebound first. After US rebound, then only we talk about buying. Uh. I think I I think we'll make one more down before it go up. That's why I uh, have to wait and see. If you want to run first, this rebound, uh, this this rebound may be opportunity to run. Uh, this one Genting today big drop, uh, Genting and uh, Genting Malaysia, right? Because this Hong Kong issue, uh, people just scared. So Genting Hong Kong, uh, Tan Sri Lim Kokte uh, already resigned uh, as uh, this uh, CEO of uh, Genting Hong Kong. Uh, there's, uh, there's a thing. Uh, so a lot of uh, market uh, a bit a bit a bit uh, panic. Uh. So today we got Genting sell down. Uh. Uh, Genting also drop already, starting to drop. Almost to cut loss already. Uh. So uh, see hopefully next few days got some rebound. Uh. See hopefully uh, hopefully they can come up with the news about this uh, this sky world right, reopen right. So this one also uh, continue to drop. Mm, not very good. This one actually the, pre the previous stop loss I put it here. Actually really almost Touch the previous stop loss already, 2.7. Oh, so this one up to you whether you want to hold or not. Because this one, right, initially we are buying very small lot only. Nah, go in small first. When when it goes up, then only we want to top up. Nah. So this one, possible if you don't want to, to, to don't want to cut first, maybe you look look at this one. Oh, maybe you want to cut over here. 2.71. Nah. If you want to cut first, also if you cannot sleep already, you're buying too big, maybe cut some first nah, because as I said, this one we are trying to pick the bottom. We are no one, no one, nobody can guarantee this the bottom or not. It might still drop. After it drops, it might go up again. That's why we want to add more when it's going continue to go up, not at the first buy here. Or oh, this is just a test water only. Uh. Okay. So it looks like uh, not so good because of this. Even though you know uh, even though uh, indirectly uh, there's no direct direct link between this uh uh, Genting Malaysia and Genting Hong Kong, right? So there's no share link, you know, so the, the shareholder link, uh, shareholder, of course, the same shareholder, uh, the, the boss, right? This uh, Genting CEO, uh, this CEO, right, is the Genting owner. But the, 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 in a corporate level, right, there's no, they don't hold each other's share, right? So there's no big impact, uh, but of course, market still spook. Uh. Okay, so this one, wait and see what happened. 
So foreign fund uh, slower pace uh, so second week so continue to net buyers 11 million uh, drop from 300 over million drop to only 11 million uh, uh, so CITOS, CITOS big consensus profit uh, so not too bad uh, this one uh. okay this one big news challenging road for PN17 Asia uh, so this CGS CMMB giving, uh, giving it a <laughs> giving a target of 9 cent only uh. <laughs> That's why I don't buy first, uh, don't buy first uh, Asia, uh, don't buy first, give it 9 cent only because first is PN17 because the problem is here. Uh, negative shareholder fund post position of 3.2 billion, uh, so uh, too much debt, uh, too much debt. Uh. So we say it's very difficult for it to uplift itself from PN17, uh, from uh, uh, PN17. So, uh, <laughs> so, we're going to, so we have to wait what Tony Fernandez can play, uh, if he can play some good chess game. So maybe got chance if we cannot, maybe this time uh, Asia will, will really drop to become sand stock only la, uh, sand stock la. Uh, you not not go not go up la. Maybe left uh, PN17, continue PN17, so it's continue sand stock only. Uh, that's why we want to wait for momentum up only play. Uh, okay, don't simply buy in yet. As I said, uh, Asia possible yesterday I talked quite a lot of Asia, right? Asia possible uh, it still will drop to 30, 35 cent, you know. Okay? So CMB now giving a uh, nine cent only ah, uh. so it still can drop even further uh. Okay, so don't don't buy in first. So we got a few, but we got a few uh, levels to watch now ah, uh. 0 0.5, 0 0.3, and 0 0.09 uh. So it can become uh, it can become a uh, uh, cent stock uh, 0, 0 something cent stock uh. Uh. So <laughs> okay, so uh. D next, oh, good news, huh? D next, no wonder flying up, okay, flying so high because to Terra, right, invest 645 million on capacity expansion, so their expansion, they are this uh, semiconductor manufacturing plant, huh? uh, they are doing this, uh, what, what do you call it, uh? so increase annual capacity, right, okay, production, uh, capacity of uh, 20%, uh, so this is why, uh, this is probably this is the reason why, uh, this D next flying high, so uh, let's see D next. Okay, now dropping already, ah. Uh. Oh, so D next finally start to drop already, lah. Uh. D next, if you already hold a lot, maybe you can take some profit first. Wait for it drop lower, or uh, maybe you want to uh, drop lower, rebound back. Maybe you want to buy again, or uh, want to add some again next time, uh, or you can take half first. Or if you really buy low lah, take some profit first when it drops because I think it will start to correct, correct already. Oh, because RSI not really going higher. Momentum got uh volume get got go higher lah. So this one there is a small correction probably going up again. Uh. Maybe you want to continue to hold, or you maybe you want to if you already got a lot of profit, maybe sell some first, wait for it to drop cheaper, 0 0.9 or below 0 0.9 here, maybe okay, maybe when it turns up again, maybe buy again, uh, add, uh, get, add some more uh, at cheaper price. Looks like you see why I'm saying that it could drop uh, because bearish engulfing uh, big bearish engulfing candle uh, looks like it's gonna drop uh. so take some profit first uh. if me I will take some profit first uh. remember uh, this one D next I didn't manage to chase uh, because that day I didn't follow or uh, I didn't uh, uh, where was it uh, here right I did I forgot to mark I forgot to put the alarm uh, so I also de didn't manage to chase if this time drop back maybe I want to ch I, and maybe this time I want to chase uh, D next So Luster, Luster buy is 8.19 stake and M Inflex uh, uh, so uh, 22 million uh, to penetrate the automation market uh, so uh, so look at both uh, Luster and M Flex. Luster long time no more no more goring already uh, during the uh, pandemic time uh, we, everyone goring Luster uh, but now <laughs> during the pandemic uh, 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 Okay, Luster, Luster is 5068. So Luster got nothing, uh, slowly want to make a V-shape recovery, looks like slowly want to make V-shape recovery, but uh, nothing much to talk about, uh, no momentum, I didn't see any momentum, any increase in volume, nothing, uh, Luster just nothing, uh, nothing, CM flex. 
Inflex, last time what's the name already? What stone already? I forgot already. Uh. Inflex. Inflex just changed the name, right? I don't know what stone really last time. Their name, uh, Inflex, Inflex. Uh. Uh, right, Inflex look exactly, look exactly like last <laughs> Inflex zero two zero nine. Okay, Inflex got like a little bit more momentum, not not like very strong, but got a bit more momentum lah. A bit more momentum energy going up, but I just a bit already go up a bit already overbought already. Uh, so this one. But it got more volume lah, got more volume lah, this one maybe got more energy, but you say very strong, I can't say this very strong lah, maybe got some volume lah, maybe slowly got chance to go up lah, 0 0.195 lah, look at 0 0.195, you can go above 0 0.195, maybe it's slowly recovering up. Uh, this one another news uh, talking about this Asia group. I uh, must say blue bullfish la, uh, so not yet not yet bankrupt la. Uh. Or oh, this one uh, this one uh, Maybank uh, Maybank give uh, give some support la. Uh. So you got you see you got a few ways uh, to to exit from uh, uh, a enam cara ah uh, eh, boleh melaksanakan mengecilkan kedudukan equity pemegang saham negatifnya yang diharap dapat menyingkir status PN17 lah, so there are some solution, you want to read this month, maybe you can read this news lah, okay, Asia group must be belum muflis lah, this one lah, <laughs> the next, last, oh, so this one lah, election Johor coming soon already ah. within 70 days, right, have to election ready, so, uh, within 60 days, have to election ready lah, so, uh, Another election coming, so uh, 3.2, 3,002 uh, COVID, not so good. Okay, so what else we want to talk about in the Sitos Genting Luster Mflex MPI? Morning, we talk about MPI, D next is uh, oh, PMB Tech. PMB Tech, CPMB Tech, uh, break out. Uh. You need sustain, yeah, sustainable, uh. sustain, uh. so BNB tech looks at the, let me see the volume, oh, uh, volume up, uh. okay, so PNB tech probably got some chance to play, so BNB tech, right, uh, let's see the volume, give me one second, uh. okay, PNB tech quite strong, uh. possible, can pick some uh, tomorrow, uh, pick some, uh, buy, put some uh, limit order, maybe around 13 ringgit. Or hopefully it drop a little bit. Or uh, 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 possible buy cheaper lah. Uh, possible lah, uh, buy it a bit drop up. Uh. Because after a big spike, like, like today, right? How many percent spike? Let me see. How many percent? Five percent, right? So possible there are some. Take profit tomorrow, so it could drop a little bit. Maybe can try this one, ah. Uh. Can try another target. Maybe can try here. Fifteen, fifteen point, fifteen point nine uh, around here, lah. Uh. So this one got possible PMB tech or something, uh, or something. In uh, re technology. So take a quick quick look lah, technology lah, some of the technology stock lah, see, also these few days uh, Amulus got uh, got no rebound today, got tried to rebound, got no rebound, uh, not so much rebound, so uh, DNO we talked about a bit already just now, uh, so starting trying to rebound, or uh, Franken, or uh, trying to rebound a bit, or uh, MPI, morning I talk about this few lah, 
trying to rebound so uh, bullish engulfing right bullish engulfing uh, almost engulf didn't engulf this is piercing line uh, piercing line piercing line also is bullish la. yeah the, ta the 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 direction is like that la. piercing line so what else uh me also so it's holding no more dropping so now we are waiting for us fomc thursday morning thursday in midnight right we got fomc so us fomc are going to uh, have a statement and interest rate uh, uh, uh report uh, uh, announcement so uh see what happened then okay so tomorrow this today have to be careful uh if you if you you have to be careful uh, if starting to drop again maybe you want to cut already this time uh, but i hopefully it can help you know the the fed in us right maybe they want to protect their stock market a bit so don't let it drop too now it's dropping too scary la. so of course us also they don't want to, their stock market to do too bad la. now it's dropping like, like crashing like crazy so they might want to talk something good to bring the market up a bit so this one they so there's a chance for this uh, i'm not saying a guarantee will happen that there is a chance that you can run with less uh less uh losses uh. okay so i'll talk to you again tomorrow afternoon See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.